In this Explore Ecuador feature video, our hosts Carlos and Scott take us to a popular bustling mercado in Cuenca. We find out about hornado, smoothies, ostrich eggs, and check out more of what the mercado has to offer. We explore the culture of Mercado de Este Agosto. Okay, over here we are in the Ornado section, and this is the area where all these ladies will cook pigs in an oven, mm -hmm. and they cook them for three, four hours, and after they cook, they look like this. And it's very tasty, by the way. I believe it. You know, so people come here for lunch, yeah. and they will pick some of these. They will serve that with potatoes, which are already cooked, and then they, they, they fry it in the lard of the pig, so I'm like, extra taste. For people who like uh, pork, this yeah. is fantastic. No, it looks fantastic. I see she just picks out the pieces. Exactly. And throws them on the plate. And look at the other side, you know. Did you see it? It just looks, looks fantastic, you know. Yeah, It's yeah. empty already here, you know. She, she already finished. And look, <laughs> look at that. She always offers a little bit. Yeah. You try, if you like it, you buy from it. I love it. Would you like to try? Absolutely. Daily, daily, daily. Try it's that, it try, it, try, try, try. Scott. Mm. Ah. So good. Espérese, le, le presento a mi amigo. Diana, let me introduce Scott. Hola, buenas. Scott, Diana. <laughs> Diana. Hola, Diana is telling us what they have here. Yeah. Dianita, ¿qué tiene? ¿Cómo se llama usted? Alicia. Alison. 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 Alison and Diana. ¿Qué tiene aquí, Diana? Well, they have a little bit of everything, you know, some grain, different kinds, some rice, some chocolate, some eggs, some sugar as well. And the dog food. And the dog, the dog food, food too. Gracias, Diana. Yes, thank you. Y Alison. Alison. Muchas gracias. Yeah, yeah, man. Wonderful. Well, you're yeah, making friends, friend. huh? It's my friend. <laughs> Excellent. Anyway. This is coconut juice. You know, Margarita, my friend, she did it. And every time that I come here, she always invites me a little bit of that. So try it. Cocoa is my favorite. Is that right? It really is, I yes. I hope you like it. Try it, try it. Oh, my gosh. She always, you know, uh, makes it very fresh, but also adds a little bit of food. That is good. That is really good. I can have it? Please, oh, I appreciate please. it. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, that is good. Mucha gracia. Si, me gusta. Have some more. Mucha gracia. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, uh, you hold this. Oh, please. Thank you. Sir? So let's talk about the stinky fruit first. Okay, well, let me get inspiration. It stinks. It's horrible. Yeah. But it's super good for you. Yeah. In fact, the local people consider aphrodisiac. So in other words, it will be a sort of like... Aphrodisiac. Go ahead. Natural Viagra. See. And you know, if you ask the lady, okay, uh, I would like... Um, Boroho smoothie, she'll laugh. <laughs> I don't know why, but she'll laugh. But anyway, this is used not only aphrodisiac, but also is used, you know, for anemia, is used for, for different kind of uh, illness. So it, in general, it's good, you know. And this too. 
ostrich egg, they use it, you know, they say it's full of calcium. So normally ladies, you know, that have problems with the bones, osteoporosis maybe, will use it. Also people that have problems with, um, with headaches and things like that, they will use uh, this as well. They consider a source of a lot of vitamins. Okay. So it's, it's, it's very common to, to, to hear over here people come for smoothies with different fruits including a little bit of this egg si. or a little bit of this as well. Now, I, my biggest question is, where do they get these? Because we're in the middle of Ecuador, okay? Of course, when you think about an ostrich, you might think about Africa or, or you know, like an ocean distance. Yeah, yeah. But actually, it's possible to find it only 20 kilometers distance from Cuenca. Over oh, there oh, is where they oh. raise ostrich. And there's, they, there's the eggs are delivered over here. Oh yes, ostriches. We have ostriches yes. in Ecuador. We do, we do. They were imported, but now you know they're so common. You can get the meat, you can get the eggs, the feathers, everything. Mind blown. So there you go. There you go. If you want an aphrodisiac, you and can an have this egg, for the weekend. Just come to the market. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, sí, pero sí, pero. She, she, she passed me the ostrich egg but with a little hole that they make in here. Yeah, this is how they get the yolk Exactly, out. she passed me like this. <laughs> it was coming out. <laughs> okay, folks, over here, uh, you know, we have the section of all these ladies who sell smoothies. See, si. Do you like fruits? Do you like I smoothies? Love fruits, yes. Wonderful, so I guess we're in the right place. My friend over here, Laura, she makes these wonderful smoothies, you know? Yeah. And she does combinations that you can read them, of course, yeah. in there, you know, all of them are in Spanish, but I can explain to you. She can mix carrots with oranges and maybe a little bit of alfalfa, si. some ostrich egg. Why not? In the blender and you're ready, you know? Yeah. Especially if you're hungover or something, you know, that'll help you to recover. Yeah, I'm not sure what ostrich egg gives you, but it's gotta be something <laughs> good. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, they, they have plenty of eggs, look. I, I see you know. that. You can come here and ask for a smoothie that they normally would put in a blender some egg. You know, you can choose the kind of egg. They have ostrich, they have uh, ducks, they have uh, doves, they have quail, they have chicken, ostrich. And they put that in a the blender. They add um, uh, a malt beer, you know, a malt beer. And then they add, you know, alfalfas and honeybee or different kind of syrups. Yeah. And they make a shake. And they say it's full of vitamins, you know, so yeah. that will get you ready for going to the mountain and climb the Everest. There you go. You know, that gives you a lot of energy. I guess it's because of the protein, all it's that protein. Be. Exactly. Okay, would you like a smoothie? I just want uh, the mora. Senora, mora. Por favor. Yeah, uno de mora. And uno piña, sí. Uno, uno de piña, uno, uno de pina. mora, y una combinación de naranja con, con manzana. So we're gonna go for some smoothies. Sí. Know? I'm having uh, one of my favorite ones is actually orange. Look at those horrible oranges. But if you just look at those oranges, you know they look horrible. Yeah. But they taste fantastic. Yes. They are so sweet, so juicy. And now here we go. Now applesauce. Applesauce. Okay. And I'm ready for that. Actually, that looks good. So mora, which I ordered, is my favorite berry here by far. It's actually a mix between like a blackberry and a raspberry. Um, it's the biggest, most major berry they have here. They do have blueberries, a little harder to find, but mora is pretty available anywhere. And uh, it's just it's sweet enough and it's, it's my favorite. Okay, I'm ready. And to get this in the States, of course, you'd have to go to a smoothie bar uh, and pay there you go. Seven dollars for a for a, for a drink, and here it's probably a buck fifty. Uno de estos, otro de estos, señor. Pineapple, y uno uno de estos, manzana y, y naranja. So Cheers. 
I, I still enjoy it, you know, no. I've been drinking this for years. Well, obviously it's done you good. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> you know, maybe you wonder how clean and how safe is to come to places like this. I have because, you know, we get all this stuff, but we also know that things need to be washed, clean. And I always wonder, do they do that or? They do, they do clean their fruits. And just to let you know, I've been coming here for years with many tourists. And one of the places that I normally stop in my tours is right here. Okay. And I'll have my, my smoothie, you know, different Sweet. types. And so far I have a clean record. Well, that says it right there though. So, no one's been ill after that, after years, you know, and I've been with, with these people days, you know, right yeah. after they had this, so I'm like, but what's your personal experience? My experience here has always been really well. Um, I actually, you know, like I said, when we first came here, we went to the Mercado, we bought meat, you know, we bought all those things, and for us, you know, it, it was a little bit of a stretch because you go from having a supermarket where everything's packaged and has a label on it, and you walk into a Mercado where there's a cow hanging from a hook. Exactly. And you, you know, you wonder to yourself, you know, well, how fresh is this? Over time, you come to realize that this is probably actually better for you than the stuff that's packaged. You know, because it actually, yes. this, because this is fresh. This was brought here on a, a cart and then set there. Exactly. Whereas a lot of the food we're eating in, in, in larger countries is states away, frozen, brought over. You know, and so you wonder, and so, you know, I've never been sick here. I've never had a stomach flu. I've drank water and everything else, and, and everything's been fine. Excellent. Thank you for watching our three-part series on the Mercado Diez de Agosto. We've shown you just a little of what there is to experience at this popular market. We invite you to come and see it for yourself. Muchísimas gracias to our friends at Mercado Diez de Agosto. Coming up soon, Explore Ecuador takes to the road. Head out with us southwest of Cuenca and see a few sights. As our cameras take us off the beaten path, we'll have a few conversations with Jose Carlos Lara about cloud forests and bird watching and we'll make a few little friends. We'll take you through our lenses to interesting places. It's a golden opportunity to explore Ecuador.